I'm gonna show you the core foundations of kickboxing so that you enter your first class ready to go and looking like a pro. So the first ones are gonna be our six count, which are gonna be our punches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if they call out a number, that's what it's gonna be. Now let's look at how to do them. The one is our jab hand. It comes straight out, rolls over, unwinds, and then pulls directly back. Try to not add any body movement when you first start. Now, later on, we can add stepping jabs, but for now, let's just stick with the basic corkscrew. Now, when I throw my cross, my two hand, my hip and my knee are gonna rotate forward. My hand comes out and I do the same punching mechanics as the jab. I'm using my entire body to rotate and generate power. All right, three and four, left hook, right hook. These are some powerful strikes. Where a lot of people make the mistake is bringing the hand in too close or dropping the elbow. So let's bring the elbow up to the hand and then we'll roll our entire body into a half circle like we're trying to reach behind a big tree. And our four is the same thing. As I punch with my left hand, my weight will shift to my back leg. As I punch with my right hand, my weight will shift to my front foot. Uppercuts, five and six. So uppercuts don't generate a lot of power from big rotation. They generate power from loading the hip and exploding upwards. So we're gonna roll our hip, pop, and pop. So try not to do a big wind up. Try to keep your hand as close to your face for as long as possible. And then we're gonna punch up and out. Woo, we're getting there. Now let's look at the kicks. So we have our push kick and our round kick. These are going to be your basic kicks for kickboxing. The way that we do our push kick is we're going to chamber our knee. We're going to lean back just slightly. Hip rotates up. Push your foot straight out. Rechamber it and bring it back down. The higher you bring your knee, the higher your kick will be. If your knee is low or you're hunched over, you won't be able to kick very high. Now, a round kick. We're going to take a cheat step out, turning my entire body, bringing my hip and my shoulder around, snap, rechamber, bring it back. The reason that we load our hip is because we want our entire body to come around. It's very difficult to do that if our foot is straight. So we're going to step out kick, and unwind. All right, guys, with those steps, you're going to be looking like a pro on your first class. If you would like to take a free trial class with me, I will have a link below where you can get scheduled.